Jamaica pledges support for Haiti. DBJ urged a fast-track Harmony Cove project and Jamaicans urged to preserve the environment, plant more trees. You're watching Jamaica House Weekly. I am Simone Wolf. We must take the profit out of crime. Criminals must have no access to the financial system. And where they operate in the informal economy and in the backwaters of our country. We must find them and separate them from their illegal gains. Prime Minister Andrew Honus's strident plea following news that five persons, including three children, were killed in March Penn Spanish Town on the weekend. Linking money laundering to crime, Mr. Honus said criminals were using small arms bought through the banking system illegally to wreak havoc on society. Jamaica cannot afford to be seen as a weak link in the chain of international efforts to combat money laundering and terrorism financing. We must have a robust anti-money laundering and counter-financing of terrorism regime in place to prevent criminals from benefiting from the proceeds of their crime. Prime Minister Holness was speaking Monday at the start of the two-day fifth anti-money laundering counter-financing of terrorism conference. The conference is being staged by the Jamaica Bankers Association and the Jamaica Institute of Financial Services under the theme, Understanding Our Obligations, Safeguarding Our Future. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has pledged Jamaica's support for recovery efforts in our Caribbean neighbors of Cuba, Haiti and the Bahamas. We have to help as brothers and sisters in the Caribbean, Jamaica, within our means will assist. And again, Jamaicans, as much as possible, should help. So I'm, I'm very grateful to God for having spared the island. But having been spared, we now have a duty to help where we can. The Prime Minister was speaking at Saturday's Thanksgiving service to officially start National Heritage Week. Though the island was spared the wrath of Hurricane Matthew last week, our Caribbean neighbors were not as lucky as the Category 4 storm battered the islands, leaving high death tolls, crumbled infrastructure and downed trees in its wake. We live in an island state which is very susceptible to the effects of climate change, not just hurricanes and the weather events that come from climate change, but more so sea, sea level rise. Um, and uh, for us in Jamaica, we are not net carbon emitters, but still it is in our interest to do our part in planting trees. Prime Minister Andrew Holness urging Jamaicans to plant trees in order to preserve the environment. Mr. Holness was speaking Friday following a tree planting exercise at three corporate area schools to mark National Tree Planting Day. The Prime Minister, in partnership with the Forestry Department, planted 10 trees each at DuPont Primary, Penwood High and Seaward Primary and Junior High. The Development Bank of Jamaica DBJ has been mandated to fast-track the development of the Harmony Cove project. While making the call, Prime Minister Andrew Holness said the 5,000-room Trelawney-based casino resort has great potential to drive economic growth on that side of the island. We see it as a great potential to drive economic growth and could carry Jamaica into a different realm of the tourism market. So some activity is needed on this and the government is very anxious that this be done. The Harmony Cove project is a joint partnership between the National Housing Trust and the DBJ through Harmonization Limited. It's supported that the first phase of the project is to get underway in 2017 with a thousand rooms valued at 900 million US dollars. Mr. Holness has meanwhile encouraged the DBJ to speed up its divestment initiatives, which will see government moving some of its processes into the private sector. And on the matter of investment, he said the bank should encourage greater collaboration between local and foreign investors so that Jamaicans can have some ownership in large enterprises that invest locally. He urged the bank to strengthen its capacity to manage risks as it pushed forward with development-centered projects.
a shift has to take place in how we deal with risk. In everything that we do, there is a risk, but you have to be able to properly calculate it, assess the outcomes, the effects, the possible benefits, the possible loss. Manage it. Prime Minister Andrew Holness was speaking at the Development Bank of Jamaica's 2016-2017 retreat. Back at Jamaica House, Mr. Holness met with Baroness Annale, Minister of State for the Commonwealth and the UN at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. And that's it for Jamaica House Weekly. Join us next time for more of the news coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.